This is Falco Interface 1.2. We're going to do a quick introduction to how to use this. Uh, the quickest way to do it is once you have got your USB stick hooked up to your uh, PC and you have got the motor with the wireless module, uh, go ahead and hit the demo button. This will allow the connect tab to come on. You hit the connect tab, then choose the HX motor here and hit connect and then go and hit the motor icon on the top this shows motor icon here and then you can just hit the start button and that will link the motor uh, as you can see here link the motor with the PC now um, this will use uh, this screen here can be used to control the motor as you would use the console to control the motor a quick look at the motor parameters. Uh, you go to the motor parameter tab, and here you have got speed, voltage, temperature, hall code, error, etc. And then you have also got these torque sensor raw value, torque sensor rectified value, torque sensor peak value, actual torque sensor value. If you click on torque sensor details, it will load up. Uh, the torque sensor values here as you can see this is the value when the rider is producing no torque that's the base value of the torque sensor if you want to make adjustments basically you go to motor control and you have got uh, these adjustments available turn on speed base activation current uh, you have also got uh, the flip torque sensor command torque sensor turn on value uh, the current clamp is not active today. It will be active in the later firmware upgrades uh, of the motor and the, and the PC. Uh, turn on delay, uh, turn off delay, max DS value, TS offset value, etc. Now, uh, you want to, um, if you're not using... Uh, uh, we have basically three sensors you can use in the motor torque sensor crank sensor and throttle and uh, and in the u.s uh, this is the uh, preferred uh, sensor selection in most of the drives we have uh, this will allow the bike to be operated without any crank sensor or throttle torque sensor essentially uh, so all you will need is the torque sent the motor and the battery to operate the system uh, once you have done an appropriate setting here you should hit the broadcast uh, button here and as you can see as it's broadcasting uh, this F will change uh, its position you can hit a couple of times just to make sure that the values have been broadcast and uh, and that's all the setting you need to do and you're good to go